Hi everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this shooting star bracelet featuring the new Wibe Duos as well as the star beads. If you need any materials to make this fun bracelet, check out the links below me in the description to purchase from us online. Gather up your materials and let's get started. Prior to starting the design, I want you to take note of the star beads and the wibe duos. The star beads, when you're looking at them, are flat on both sides and do not have a top or a bottom. The wibe duo does. It has a flat side and then has a rounded side towards the top. We want to make sure that the rounded side is always going to be up as we're progressing along the project. We have the wibe duos in that champagne, and then I have the star beads, which are going to basically be twice the size, an 11 millimeter, in the turquoise gold splash. I have a point uh, or point zero zero six wildfire beading thread here with a stop bead on and this point zero zero six I have cut to about five feet I also have on here a size 12 beading needle and I'm gonna begin with a 15 and my 15 is in the Duracoat galvanized Moscat which is kind of a nice orangey gold color and then my 11 O is in the opaque turquoise to match the star bead I have a 15 and an 11 on my needle and then I'm gonna begin by picking up my first wibe duo. You want to go through again so that it is flat on the bottom and I have the left hand side hole that I'm stringing through. After that I'm going to pick up another 11 and a 15 and then I'm going to go into my first star bead. The star bead I'm going to go right through the bottom hole and to the other side. From here I want to repeat basically backwards so I'm going to add a 15 and then an 11 Another one of my wide duos, this time I'm gonna go down through the right hand hole, because this is gonna be rounding out. Repeat that 11, then a 15, and then we're going to grab our next star bead. Again, with the star beads, they do not have a top or bottom, doesn't matter. From here, to round the whole thing out, you're gonna go back through the 15, the, y, the 11, the wide duo, and give a nice tight pull. That stop bead just kind of move out of the way so that way you don't see it. And that's gonna be our first little segment. From here, we're going to decorate the middle so we don't have to come back and do it and also add our outer edge of our seed beads around the star beads. We'll come back then and connect the wives again. So to begin here, what I want you to do is go through the 11 L in the top right hand corner of this component right here then you're gonna get ready with your Monty. So you can use anything in the middle here. I'm just using the Monty because it has a lot of sparkle and a lot of bling. I have the Crystal AB Monty with a silver setting and that is in the SS20. That's gonna lay right over top here, crossing and just giving a little bit of that sparkle. To pick up some of the pink color that's in it, I have a 15-0 and the 15-0 is in the matte opaque Dura Coat Orchid. You're gonna put on a 15-0 then go on and put your Monty. The Montes have a crisscross back there. Add another 15-0. And you're gonna go down to the left-hand corner. We're coming out the top right-hand corner of the 11 i I'm gonna go to the bottom left-hand corner, 11 All the way through the wide duo. And from there through the 11. And now I'm at the top left-hand corner of the 11. I'm gonna go to the bottom right-hand corner 11, putting on a 15 in that pink color through the Monty, making sure that the Monty's facing up. Another 15 on, and then you're gonna go through the bottom of that 11 O on the right-hand side, up through then the wide duo as well as through the next 11 seed bead. And that's gonna get us back into that starting position. So basically where our needle now is, is where we ended that right angle weave section. From here, also go through the 15 and come on out through your star bead. And there you have that nice middle decorated section here, standing out with that crystal AB in that beautiful kind of color tone. When you're out then your star bead, we're gonna decorate the sides of the star beads with some of our seed beads as well. So I want you to go ahead and put on some of your muscat. So those are those 15-0 in that coppery gold color. And we're gonna add four of those onto our needle. Then we're gonna pick up one of our 11-0s in that turquoise color. 
and then four more of those in the copper color. Come on down the other side of the star bead and let those seed beads kind of sit right to the top, just arching right over. From here, again, four 15s, then one 11, then four 15s. Go ahead into the other side of the star duo, which is also, again, going to take those beads and outline the outside of the star bead. From here, then, I'm also sewing through whoops, the seed beads on the other side that we put on. So I'm going to go through all eight of these 15s and the 111 all the way down so you're coming out the star bead. So I'm going through all of those beads that we put on in the first kind of section around the top of the star and out. From here, I'm gonna continue with this stitch, adding in my wide duos. So coming out the corner here, I'm gonna add a 15, then an 11, then my wide duo, making sure again that it's sitting face up, that I have the flat side facing down, and I'm going through the right hand side basically. Go ahead and add an 11 and a 15. Pick up your next star bead, so through there. Do that wibe duo again with the 15, 11. Pick up a wibe duo, making sure again that it is sitting so that way the flat side is down. Add an 11 and the 15 and sew back into that same star bead that your thread is coming out of just through the star bead. Don't go through any of the seed beads that are there and that gets your next little component section. From here, sew up through the 15, the 11, the Y, through the 11, and out. Again, here is where you're going to decorate with the Monty, adding in a 15 in the pink color, Monty 15 onto your needle, Go from the top right hand 11 that you're coming out of to the bottom left hand 11. So through the wide duo and the 11 coming out the top left hand side of the 11. Making sure your Monty face is down. Grab another 15. So through the other hole of the Monty along that crisscross back. Add another 15 and then sew up through the 11, the wide duo, the 11, and start that pattern over again, adding in those seed beads along the outer edge. Once you come to the end of the design, and to let you know, I have nine of my Monty's, so nine of my little components in place here. And you can see if you want to, you could actually stop at this point, leaving that second hole open gives a nice look to it. I'm gonna continue on to put on the clasp, and then we'll come back and connect to those empty holes of the wide duos. What I want you to do is instead of putting on your next section of wide duos, go ahead and add six of your 15 O's in that muscat color. I have on a crystal capri gold full cup button through the back of the cup button out to the top. Through the top I have on 15, 11, 15 in the orchid, then turquoise orchid color. Back down through that button and then six more of your 15 O's. Remember that if you have a regular clasp, if you have um, anything that you're connecting that's metal, I would recommend using a wire guard and you could put that on now too in three 15's and then your wire guard and your clasp. Going back through then the last star bead, you're gonna go through the end star bead out to the other side and we're gonna reinforce the clasp while we're here. So you're gonna go through those sixes, back out through the top of the button, through the seed beads and down through the other side of the button, along the seed beads, along the back of the button, and out. That's gonna add our clasp, and if you need to, you want to do a third time, you can do that as you come back down the design because we're gonna go up one side and then back the other. What we're gonna do now is string over through that same star bead, and then up through the four 15s, 
and the 11 and out the 11 on the top of the star beads. This is gonna set up in place for our star beads to sit down and for us to connect our second hole of our wide duo along the project. After going through the 11, you're also gonna continue to through the first two 15s in that muscat color. To your needle and thread then, go ahead and add three of the orchid, one more muscat, and we're just gonna continue putting 15 O's four at a time in between catching on to the wide duo second hole. Coming out the wide duo then, you get one more 15 in that muscat color, three in the orchid, and then you're gonna sew through those top five beads. The two must get before the 11, above the star bead, as well as then, and if you need to, sometimes the Duracoats will get a little bit stiff there, or a little bit blocked in the holes. Then you're also gonna go through, after the 11, the next two 15s, And then after you come out through those 15, so it's a total of five beads on top of the star bead that you're connecting into. After those five beads, again, grab three more of the 15 in the orchid, one more in the muscat up through that wide duo. And you're gonna continue the whole way down the line then, adding in those 15s, connecting onto those five outer edge of the star beads. We're gonna go down through the right-hand side and then come back up through the left-hand side as well. When you get towards the end of the design, you're gonna need that first star bead to have its uh, seed beads around the edge. So I put a needle back on that starter or that stop thread, taking it back through the star bead, and then I'm going to decorate that star bead with my grouping of that four 15s, my one 11, and then my four 15s. Once it has that on it, I'm gonna go through the other side of the star bringing my thread and needle out, and then again go to the other side of that star, and now that I'm here, I'm gonna decorate with those as well. Again, that repeat of those four 11s, or four 15s, one 11, and then four 15s. Once you have that combination on the needle and thread, go back through the star bead, and out the other side, letting the needle hang out there because it is going to sit and tie off to the thread that I currently have. I am gonna need to add more thread, so if you are a person that loves to only have one strand of thread, you may have wanted to start out with 10 feet. I really do not like managing more than five at a time. As you're doing this too, a note to mention is that the seed beads are gonna kind of pop behind the star beads a little bit. This is gonna force what we want to happen is that wide duo as well as the Monty to sit up on the wrist. So it's gonna have a slight curvature along the design. I'm gonna go ahead now that I have those seed beads around that first star, finish off the design coming out through the star then and make a loop for my button to sit on. So coming out the last of my star beads here, I put on my thread and needle four of my 15 O's, then one 11 O, and then I'm gonna put on 36 of the 15s, and I'm gonna use for my loop that nice, pretty, opaque orchid color. After I have those 36 beads on, I'm gonna go back down through my 11 O seed bead, rounding out that loop, and then I'm going to put on, again, four of the 15s in that muscat color. Once you have those four 15s in the muscat, you're gonna go back through that last hole of the star bead, starting from the top towards the bottom, and pulling that loop closed. That's gonna be the loop for our button, and what we're gonna do is reinforce going back through all the seed beads, all the loop, and then come back out and get ready through that second 15-0 after the 11-0 here on the side to come back down the side then and add in our four 15s between each one of our wide duos and our 11-0s, which is also gonna pull again those Montes towards the top of the project. At the end of the design, you're left with the Montes kind of sticking up 
and the seed beads of the 11 O's kind of arch down below the star beads, making the star beads also a focus, along with obviously those wide duos. Once you get finished going back down the right and the left hand side, it also gets a little bit three dimensional and has a little bit of a curvature through it. All I have to do now that I'm done the last one here is tie off my thread, but I wanted to put it on so you could see that dimensional shift that kind of happens as you're doing the second row of the beads. You can also use a variety of different beads when you create this project. Make sure you comment below in the description of the video and let us know what changes or what additions or what subtractions you made. Remember, you can also always give a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need any of the materials to do the bracelet, keep in mind that you can go below the video into the description and check out the links that we have in there for you to purchase from us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. As always, thanks for watching everybody and enjoy.